runs a game for the Fighting Tigers from Baton Rouge. And a swing and a miss for Dylan Cruz. His time in the bullpen and now as a starter, and he dispatches Cruz like he was an eighth grader. One, two, three. Uncomfortable at bat. And just like that. The impact these two have made. White to the left side, past Caleb Kelly in a two out single. He came in with high expectations and they've met them. I mean, hard to equate. It's a home run every seven at bats. Shallow right field. Borfin took a bad route, started back before coming in. And LSU will take advantage. Runners at the corners now. Jammed him, and that one's going to drop for a knock and drive in a run. LSU fans loud early. one nothing Tigers. Third straight two-out hit. These folks have been waiting all week for this matchup, and Trey Morgan makes them pay, right? You give LSU an extra out, and they will make you pay. Trey Morgan lets that one get almost in the catcher's mitt and just muscles it into shallow left field, and the mistake by Borfin cost the Hogs a run. The birthday to the national champion. Strike three on the outside edge. And overthrew that one for a leadoff walk. Here's the one two. To short, Thompson with the leap and grab off the hop of the map. What a Ooh. catch by Morgan. Man. Save that one from sailing away. Credit Jordan Thompson. Here's the payoff. Mm. And it goes with the slider to strike him out. Wagner frozen by that one. Some of it's even true. Swing and a miss by Joe Bear on the breaking ball from Hagen Smith. Real dudes on the bump right now. Mm. Took strike three at 96 right at the buckle. Little dribbler to third. Mm. Funny hop. Cali on the run. Ooh. Got it. First out there wasn't a strikeout. You're making your pitches. Hagen Smith kind of looks liberated, right, Berkey? <laughs> He's out there, looks like a sleeve, yes. tape wrist, high black, so. I love it. Thatcher, thanks for your time, man. We appreciate you joining us. Great job yesterday. 1-1 one, one to Roland. Got him in the foot. Hmm. Fastball for strike three. Paul Lasher talking about being able to adjust as a starting pitcher. That's strike three at 99. It schemes with a, a glance over. It was not exactly a close game. A one hopper off the glove of Harold Cole. And Travinsky's got two hits in this one. And he shoots that one through the left side. Back to back singles for Travinsky and Morgan for the second time in this game. Man, it's interesting they keep going to the fastball with Morgan. And goes down swinging for strikeout number eight for Hagen Smith. Close. No, he did. Strike at number nine. And there it is. Bases loaded for LSU. Oh boy. And that one gets to the backstop. Scrambling home is Travinsky, and LSU leads 2 0. Back to the fastball for the strikeout. Tenth strikeout by Arkansas pitching today. Got him. Is that the knob? Comes home with the one two and it's chopped up the middle and that one gets past Dugas headed to third is Wagner. Arkansas trying to get something cooking here in the fourth with nobody out. Oh, and that one gets through the right side. Wagner scored. Slavens throws on the brakes at second and oh, he wow. is back. Somehow he crawled the around ball. the tag of Jordan Thompson. I think the ball comes out of Thompson's glove as he goes to make the th Yeah, there it is. It's on the ground already. You see it kind of rattling around there. Bounced up the middle and Holtz got a hit. Slavin's around third. Arkansas has tied this game at two on Peyton Holtz's second hit of the contest against Paul Skeens. For most of the year. And now he's just hitting a cool 400. He's two for two off Paul Skeens. And that's what he gives you, too, which is a little bit of juice as he's getting his boys fired up. Brady Slavens comes around to score. Of course, he was almost picked off. NCAA tournament. And he overthrew the fastball. 
Push into center. Thompson racing back and makes a catch as he takes it to the ground with him. Congratulations to Cooper. He leaves the bases stranded. We're tied uh -oh, at two. Uh -oh. and we we are going to bring on, everybody back out. Got? Catcher's interference. Wow. And so let's try it again. Catcher's interference. They let the play progress until it's over, then give the offense a choice of whether or not they want to accept it. So, for example, if that would have dropped, Arkansas would have said, no, we're good. We just got a ribby or two. Oh, look at that. Do you see the mitt? Watch the mitt fold. See it? Could you see the mitt fold? Look how it folds there as the bat enters the zone. Yep. After so you, the call on the field of catcher's interference is confirmed. <laughs> bat runner and all runners advance one base. And that one gets through past Dugas. Holt has scored. Here comes Rollin. And Arkansas has taken advantage of the catcher's interference. A two run single from Jace Borfin. Cooper's 3 2. Right to Gavin Dugas. And Dugas takes care of it. But there's certainly some teams, and the Pirates have historically proven to be one, that are looking for value as much as they can. There's a generational player. You pay him whatever he wants. Tommy White strikes out. And weak, and then lost the next two. Hayden Travinsky with a leadoff single to start the sixth inning. Goodness. Three hit game. <laughs> They've withstood, or do you judge them based on the current roster? Morgan sends that one into center field. Travinsky will stop at second. Hayden Travinsky and Trey Morgan have combined to go six for six today. To the left side, Cole goes to second for one. Holt. Uh oh. Instead uh -oh. goes to third and got him! Peyton Holt is playing out of his mind. On Jordan Thompson. Brayden Jobert sends it to right field. Jace Borfin has it. But well, it, you know, it's hit. it's hit to the hole, so you know you're not going to turn it on the speedy Thompson. And then you just rip your head around and throw the ball with anticipation and accuracy. And you know your pitcher loves that. Mm. Got beat by Arizona State and Scottsdale. Swing and a miss. Couple upsets. For so you always had somebody to catch your bullpen, which is nice. Yeah. Bottom of the 11th. Wagner strikes out. K number four for Cooper. Ball lasered to left field. Wagner over to get it. Two strike single for Hayden Travinsky. And Trey Morgan retired for the first time in this game. Into left field. Here comes Travinsky to score. The throw goes into second. It's another single, but this one produces a run. Jordan Thompson giving LSU life here in the eighth. Mm. Another strikeout. It's now a season high for LSU. Mm. That have happened often lately. Riley Cooper's got his fifth strikeout. Ball to start. That one's past Morgan and into right field. And Callie's got a one out single. There, from a facility standpoint, that their recruiting is just crazy deep. Holt nearly came out of his helmet. Bomb Walker off the hook in a postseason. Strike three, another K for Cooper. That is seven now. And Cruz belts this one to left field. Wagner's out of room. It's gone. We've got a one run game in the ninth. Big time swing at a bat right there. Seen a bunch of sliders in this ball game, Tommy. Just a matter of time before he squared one up, up a hanging breaking ball. We talked about Jordan Thompson doing it last inning, and now Dylan Cruz gets the bat head out on a breaking ball sitting in the middle of the plate, and that is a rocket over the left field wall. Dylan Cruz showing up for the Tigers when they needed him the most. Mm. 
three straight. So it was a good mound meeting. And to get a ground ball to short, Cole gathers. And Arkansas uses two pitchers, Smith and Holland, to shut down the most productive offense in the league. And the Razorbacks notch a 5-4 win to advance to Saturday.